good evening guys so in the very same chain of the revisions which we the sandum family are having with you in parallel for the respective 10th grade exam okay so today is the lecture for physics um, i am ankur i'll be assisting you in order to clarify your doubts have a quick revision on the lines of the chapter electricity okay now uh, on the screen you can easily see uh, that there is a list uh. of aspects which we are going to do listed right or not mummy book kar diya why mama will bring you a book you have got your own legs crawl or walk whatever you can and get that book so 631 you are asking for the book and i don't think so you will be in need of the book throughout the lecture so triggering up the lecture yes there are topics like electric current and it's how it is um, how it flows in a circuit electric potential and potential difference which is way more important than important than current okay then yes uh, circuit diagram because um, while walking through the previous year ask question they have very consistently asked to draw a circuit with uh, some given number of um, like circuit parameters connected resistance switches and all that so i'll be introducing you with them parallelly i'll be also introducing you with the logic symbols of resistance bulb e and all that okay Uh, then comes the ohms law yes um, very important if at all a numerical will come uh, from this chapter uh, it will primarily from ohms law and then from few other places great thank you nice art and nice remover thank you very much then proceeding back uh, like proceeding back to ohms law so ohms law will have may have a question theoretical question how to verify ohms law okay then factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends yes there is a good possibility of a numerical for falling from this to okay combination of resistance series parallel and more complexing uh, the same thing uh, then comes the heating effect of electric current not very uh, high amount or very consistent questions have fallen from this uh, and uh, like frankly speaking from uh while looking into the past 5 years papers okay hardly any questions have uh, uh, walked in from this vertical but then to as there is a topic mentioned in the cbsc let's cover it okay so sure. it really doesn't mean it really doesn't mean what that you should skip the topic clear so uh, then comes the last topic electric power yes consistently no audio aditya uh, veda anurag and others can you guys hear me very easily yes sir okay so who is our dear friend who is not having the audio able to pradyot no audio please check your system because there are dear friends of mine who are, can easily hear me yeah to shall says line write a y or a n quickly but that's not a cbsc approach write comprehensively a yes or a no <laughs> yeah great so uh, dear guys who don't have the this is overwriting and that is also not allowed in cbsc kshitesh now no problem so back to the scene uh, what i am saying is do you guys those who have seen re re login re login that's the best and most simple way there are some ground rules which the sharbai generally talks about don't panic relax firstly because others can hear if um, there would have been any issue from my end the scene would have been that that other friends will also like instead of the inbox being filled by yes it would have been filled by no right so the yes signifies that okay my end is
Oh, Prisha, great. Sorry, very idiot I am. Shridij, Shridij, please, 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 uh, can you help this thing out? Okay, because I'll meanwhile be uh, having a conversation with them. Okay, consider them them your dear friends. Okay, and write them in a formal way, not in an informal way. Okay, Shridij. Clear? So uh, help them out. Please re-log in. I'll, I'll state it here. Please. Generally what happens is when others are giving lecture, I take care of the back end and support and all. They know who is there. So no problem. Yes, really no one there. Now, Thank you, Kshitesh. So these are the topics uh, on a wide note we have to cover. Okay. Now, looking at each topic one by one for the synop, like for uh, a very last minute clarification of everything, and then we'll hit back for the questions. Will that be helping you out? Thank you, Kshitesh. So, topic one electric current clear or not so yes primarily what is electric current the flow of charge is called electric current right or not it is denoted by letter i and by formula it is rate of flow of charge the unit of current is ampere clear where the unit of charge being coulomb I should write a capital C because it's the name of a person, okay? A scientist, clear? And unit of time being seconds. So coulomb per second is ampere. When we talk about charge, fundamentally charge is any set of complete electrons and belongs to integers positive or negative number of electron that means excess or deficiency of electron and E stands for the electronic charge okay so which is fundamentally 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 and negative in nature right or not so, I had a quick I will repeat Q is a set of any set of integral number of charge electrons okay the value of fundamental charge is into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb Chalo, great thank you okay so on a wider note, the same current which is being asked repeatedly in CBSC. On a wider note, the same current I can be written as number of electrons per unit time. Got it? Sure. Fine. Okay, great. Now, there exists a reason, as you all know, there exists a reason for flow of current or charge. Clear? And that reason is our next topic. That is the potential difference. That is the potential difference. Okay. And voltage. Electric potential and potential difference. So voltage is what the general term we use for potential difference. The unit is volts. <coughs> okay. Sure. Now, voltage at one location depends on the number of charge and their density. See, this 
uh, till date is never asked in CBSE, but then to catching up because I felt looking at the 2018 paper that they are asking the basic introduction of current. So they might lead up to the basic introduction of charge. Uh, voltage. So what is the basic intro, uh, introduction of uh, voltage? Voltage is the charge density at a given. Yeah, it doesn't just mean that in a full big room 100 electrons are there. Okay, say for example at the tip of your pen 10 electrons are there and in a full big room 100 electrons are there. Then the tip of the pen will be at a higher potential as compared to the big room. Why? Because we just don't talk about the number of charges. We do talk about the charge density and that's what um, intuit, the, the intuition of voltage is the charge density at a given location. Got it? So sure. potential difference is voltage, volts, there or not. Okay. Charge generally flows from higher potential to lower potential. Yeah, no. And that is what we do when we attach a battery to a given circuit. Okay, the two terminals of the battery are great potential difference. The charge starts from sir? one and flows through to other. Yes, please. Sir, Gokul and Trisha want you to repeat that uh, the starting of the words part again. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I'll repeat it. Voltage, okay. So sure. what is voltage? So as I was introducing you with the current, current is the flow of charge from one location to another. But why will charge move? What makes the charge move? There has, there should exist something which should break the energy of charge. And that is what we call the potential, potential difference. Okay, charge flows from higher potential to lower potential. Charge flows from higher potential to lower potential. So, what is the intuition of potential? Potential means the density of charge at a given location. So, I was stating an example. There is a room in which there are 100 electrons, but there is a tip of your pen where there are 10 electrons. So, you can easily visualize that the density of electron. At the tip of your pen are way higher is way higher than the density of the electrons in the room. So your tip of pen will be at a higher potential than that of the room. So charge will flow from the tip of your pen to clear me to 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 the room. Now what Anurag is saying, okay, voltage. The work done to move a single coulomb of charge. Understand this. It is not the voltage, it is potential. And that is in the terms of electrostatics. In 10th grade, you are telling the answer which I explained to you in the class. In 10th grade, you don't have electrostatics. Okay. In 10th grade, you have electrodynamics. So Anurag, what I was stating is, ki, yes, uh, that is potential. Voltage is not potential. Voltage is potential difference. Remember this. Chal, let's proceed. So this is the most important part because while walking through the previous year papers, circuit diagram was something which I like kind of in every paper experience okay for knowing the circuit diagram what you should know is the logic symbols few you remember like you remember how a resistor looks like you remember how a cell looks like you remember how a battery looks like literally in some papers they have asked draw a circuit having three batteries of four volt each so what it mean it mean that you have to draw one battery like of, of one cell, two cell and three cell of four volt each so you can write 12 volts. You getting my point? So this is the way the CBSC has really designed the questions. In many previous year papers, I'm not making up it like a random question. It is a genuine question. Okay. Yes. 
so this voltage will add up that's why if you will see um, in our cell like in our devices when we connect cell okay they are connected in series this kind of polarity negative to positive is called additive polarity if i will have 2 volt battery connected with a 1 volt battery then the total output out of this is this type 1 volt this is called additive polarity and subtractive polarity this type 4 4 4 is an additive polarity resulting to a 12 volt output whereas 2 volt and 1 volt connected with a subtractive polarity negative to negative or positive to positive will result to 1 volt clear or not so this is subtractive polarity dear this is subtractive polarity similar type of terminals connected yeah so either this way or this way it is a subtractive polarity okay what are its application dear so additive polarity is the application subtractive polarity with like kind of why will if i can design a cell of one volt then i'll use it right just telling you ki by mistake if you connect like this you will be having a subtractive polarity so we we as humans i don't remember any device where subtractive polarity is used it is kept to be there okay so fine and as tushar bhai is saying ki if yes for um, raw application where there are limitations like you have a 5 volt battery and a 4 volt battery and you only need a 1 volt output then you will use subtractive polarity here yeah? so fine so back to the rhythm other logic symbols are rheostat very important Okay, this is the rheostat also denoted by capital R and two H. Clear? So this is battery. This is cell. This is resistance. As you ask about subtractive polarity, similarly there is a question: ki, Sir, why we have variable resistance? Clear? Sure. So if we have we why will we have variation in like minor decimal? Rheostat can bring you variation for minor decimals and all. Okay. You don't have to sophisticatedly design a different resistance. So rheostat is a primary. See if someone is asking in the paper where they have asked this. Uh, literally, there is a column, match the column scene, and we will be like witnessing it as well when we will be solving previous year question. So match the column scene, okay. Here there are logic symbols and they, here there are names. You have to match them with the correct and all that. Sure. So yes, this is an important portion. Clear? Then many people don't draw bulb properly. Bulb is like this. Okay. Sure. Clear? Fine. So these are the correct symbols used by CBSC for drawing the bulb this is not don't just create a loop over there no this is not a answer clear or not yes while practicing uh, we like nobody regulates it but surely in cbsc there is a marking on the logic symbol used in the circuit clear sure so this is bulb fine Excluding bulb, please remember CBSC doesn't discuss logic symbol of any other kind of load. Don't think that they will be asking you sophisticated again. Please don't click on videos. When you click on videos, this is what comes on my screen. It doesn't happen automatically. One of us, yes, thank you very much. One of us will enable the video and then this comes up. 
thank you very much thank you very much so clear bulb okay yes what i was discussing is about other types of loads load is anything which utilizes power so i am keeping one for the bulb for any other load if at all by some reason is mentioned in the paper please use a simple blank rectangle like terminal 1 rectangle this this will be utilized for any type of load l o a d load okay sure fine if at all in the circuit diagram they are mentioning to draw you like we had uh, in our mock test right a question which many of you have made mistake whoever have attempted the paper in class no problem i was checking the copies yesterday so i found it please don't draw fan and things right make the box write load or if at all you want to be very specific right fan say for example gokul what i am mentioning is it is asked in paper to draw a domestic circuit to draw a domestic circuit clear with fan power supply and key so what will you do don't draw a fan like this okay so i am bad in drawing you guys can be great and can utilize your time in that so sure. fine don't do that please make it like this this is standard notation fan actually you should write like load okay clear socket no no socket is never asked i have read it beta so that's why i am saying no logic symbol is utilized in cbsc and neither it is standardized by the cbsc in your book so please go by the book in any case we will not be using random symbols clear or not sure fine chal proceed so these are the standard excuse me sir yes dear uh can i just draw, just uh, draw a domestic circuit uh, circuit with consisting of bulb it is here if they ask us example to draw no 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 a domestic circuit in a textbook it's in ncert they have given some kind of exec and gads of things and they have given uh, 220 volts and stuff and they've got a fuse that meter is, and that, 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 is meter. That, that is not in the chapter electricity it is in the chapter magnetic effects of electric current where they discuss about the safety instruments and devices so there they, they will ask you to draw fuse and everything and all okay clear charan yes so sir that is yeah the in yeah. it is in it is in magnetic effects of electric current and we discuss about safety devices earthing and everything over there okay got it cha proceed yes sir the next topic we have to discuss about is the very important one ohm's law what is the statement of ohm's law mathematically it is v is equals to ir and in words it is across a conductor the voltage applied is directly proportional to the current withdrawn or the current withdrawn is directly proportional to the voltage supplied clear or not so sure. this is the statement of ohm's law v is equals to ir in order to remove the proportionality and bring up the equality we use the constant okay so sure. the ratio of the and volt of current and voltage remains the same v by i is given as r resistance see resistance is a separate topic you don't have to comprehend resistance in ohm's law okay so sure. so v is equals to ir prominent formula and yes you guys are going to use it in the 
like highly probable numerical which is going to be a part of your examination paper okay v is equals to ir what i think or estimate is the formula from where you are going to get the question numerical question from this chapter clear sure what you should remember is that yes when resistances are connected in series the current remains same okay whereas when they are connected in parallel the voltage remains same clear sure this is the agenda which is going to be utilized by the numerical sure yes parallelly they will also be asking you the equivalent resistance of the combination yes for that we have another card to be discussed about clear v is equals to i r then there is one more type of question which is uh, observed yes what is the characteristic curve please mute yourself dear whoever you are i don't want to scroll and find your name and mute okay. or i can use this now so uh clear and the answer is you guys know a straight line clear yes there is a definition which is also mentioned in few previous year paper quite old not very recent what are non ohmic conductors conductors which do not follow ohms law are called as non ohmic conductors if it is a two marker question if it is just a one marker okay you can state an example examples are semiconductor semiconductors do conduct but don't follow ohms law okay so uh, shridhar you asked about examples okay so the curve for non ohmic conductor is a curve okay it's not a straight line the v i diagram is a curve okay charan akash mercury very good okay clear fine so that is about ohms law then we proceed to the factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends so here we discuss about resistance comprehensively the resistance by mathematical formula is given as r is equals to rho l by a clear where rho is resistivity resistivity the property by virtue of which note it down the property by virtue of which a material shows resistance is called resistivity resistivity is the property by virtue of which i am talking about kind of bookish term but they are required by virtue so can you repeat the statement again i am writing it on screen with a by virtue of which a material shows resistance clear sure so on what all factor resistance of a material depends or resistance of a device depends it depends on three thing resistivity length and area prominently you can also say it in two ways it depends on the quality of the material and the dimensions of the material dimension as a single word will include both length and area okay so sure. with increase in length as you can see resistance is directly proportional to length so with increase in length resistance will increase with increase in area resistance will decrease clear with any change in dimension the resistivity will not vary resistivity will only vary if the material is changed or temperature of the material is increased or decreased to a high extent just not by minor changes to a high extent okay so sure. so resistance of a material depends on the quality of the material or the material itself plus the dimensions of the material clear so sure. now based on this yes there are going to be questions like of two words yes, please remember yes dear is silicon a non ohmic conductor 
silicon is a semiconductor hence a non ohmic conductor oh uh, thank you sir good now variation of resistance there are question to be on two models cutting a wire and stretching or compressing it when you cut you only vary length area remains as it is okay sure when you stretch or compress both length and area will vary clear so sure. when we talk about cutting if a wire is cut to nth part r new will be equal to r old by n clear and quickly passing through this because this is what we have all, uh, always discussed in the class and proof and all have been done so just writing the points should be pondered by you okay sure clear stretch or compressed in any way to nth part you know then r new will be equal to n square times r old i am talking in terms of stretched so when you compress you will be making it half so it will be 1 by 4 times the r pretty obvious clear so sure. we have sample questions attached over here so you, it will be easy for you clear so sure. this is about the factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends clear easy can we proceed good so i have a doubt yes dear so if, if length is doubled hmm then what will be the new resistivity great in order to double the length you will not just uh, like add another length right or not you will stretch it clear mm -hmm. so l old l new yes or no l new is 2 times l old that is what you are saying right or not yes sir so r new will be 4 times r old yes sir but what is the new resistivity will the resistivity, resistivity change it will not change resistivity i stated the term resistivity will not change with the changes in dimensions okay okay sir bringing any change to the dimension will not bring change into resistivity resistivity will only change because of change in material you change the whole material itself or for the same material you change the temperature to a high extent okay either increase or decrease clear or not yes sir That's thank clear. you okay no problem chalo now resistance of a system of resistor so yes you have two types of systems of resistor series connection and parallel connection right or not in series r equivalent will be equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 and if there are n resistors then till rn the sum clear or not so r equivalent in parallel combination will be equal to 1 one upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 if at all there are many then 1 upon rn clear or not i knowingly write it like this because what you guys generally do is okay if 6 and 3 are given then you do okay 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 3 which is 6 yes or no 3 1 by 2 just leave it over there don't do that this is there please remember it clear so sure. please remember r equivalent is the reciprocal of the whole thing clear 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 up to because many a times when we conducted monthly test over there in the family 
we have experienced this that many especially like at exam though you are a bit more cautious but the pro like when we are practicing many a times you guys make this mistake left to right one by two no the final answer is the whole reciprocal so two ohms will be the final answer yes or no the unit of resistance is ohms logically represented by this like sorry sure or ohm clear sure fine great now heating yes. effect yes dear so somebody wanted you to do the complex circuit yes sir rf wanted you to do complex circuits okay chalo we'll do a complex circuit but there are like very easy complex circuits as far as the 10th grade of uh, cbsc is concerned okay i did not wanted to deviate myself but yes one question is uh, no bad okay so suppose rf dear there is a circuit here chalo fastest fingers first okay clear what is the equivalent resistance of this combination <laughs> good 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 sharvi the first correct answer goes to you because you have stated it with units not the shitej you missed the unit i'll deduct half marks or one if i am in a bad mood okay someone in between responded 20 i could see it who is this dear charan akash friend of mine recorrect your answer mistake okay no problem but this kind of mistake will lose you good opportunity to score centum in your respective exam this whole effort is to make you you are anyway getting more than 90 be happy with that the whole effort is to bring you on centum not as close as to centum on centum okay so sure. yes the other typing skill learning can happen later arav chal back to the scene i hope this is clear for those who couldn't answer i am just explaining it quickly these two are in series will respond as two these three are in parallel so 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6 whole to the power minus 1 which will answer as is yes or no 6 being the lcm 3 plus 2 plus 1 to the power minus 1 so 1 5 4 and this one are in series which equates to 10 ohm okay dear so sure. chal fine proceeding further the heating effects of electric current okay clear so sure. for that i guess it is better to consider electric power first and then heating effects because see heating effect of heat which is energy right or not in electric circuit will come as power multiplied by time power especially for the case of heat is i square r okay so sure. clear now when i am discussing it here i can also mention the other variants of the formula for power power dominantly for like primarily not dominantly for electric circuit is v into i voltage into current so energy in an electric circuit will be equal to v into i into t power multiplied by time we have 
multiple formats by the help of ohm's law for power like v square by r or i square into r when we talk about heat yes this is what is considered as the heat released clear sure fine cool so this is what is the like overview of the whole chapter i had a plan that i'll just discuss this for a maximum of 30 to 40 minutes but yes kind of an hour fully is utilized uh, in this discussion now we will be taking a dip into the i don't know questions clear grab your pen and paper because you will not be having a liberty to calculate on screen please don't do that even if you can um, so we we'll, all the questions are fastest fingers first okay excluding the theory part numericals only clear sure sure so also remember all these questions have been pulled out from the previous year yeah uh, ohm will be uh, okay no symbols for uh, um, the units okay so sure. ohm is what is standard format of writing the unit of resistance other units of uh, like other terms which are involved will have alphabetical uh, units or symbolic representations clear sure no units will be there make it a habit from today onward please write everything specifically with a unit never make a mistake for your own good because i wanted to like make it a habit for my dear ones i have also taken like for the centimar to be conducted for ninth grade i have made it a regulation that i'll only be writing everything with a unit around it okay or specifying the unit of the, whatever i am writing so back to the scene there let's start these questions are taken from okay previous year papers clear so they will have their standard answers and all clear cha there are new format of questions which are being introduced by the cbsc there will be multiple choice questions plus fill in the blanks as well so the first question electric potential is a scalar vector neither a scalar nor a vector or something scalar and sometimes vector a a a a a is the answer so this is the perfect way of answering a bracket scalar is the correct answer yes so note down electric potential is a scalar now this question being published by cbsc gives me a very direct hint that i should not leave it over here only let's get introduced with all the uh, parameters used in electric electricity as a chapter nothing in this chapter is a vector nothing in this chapter is a vector everything is a scalar please make it a note everything around electricity as a chapter is a scalar got it no 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 anurag dear don't get confused suppose there is a wire like this so the current will go this way and this way here are these two currents different no they are same got it so sure. current is a scalar let's talk about this in 12th grade chapter 1 okay not in 10th grade clear so got it anything in the chapter electricity sure clear will be scalar only no vector next when electric current is passed electron move from when electric current is passed now this is a tricky one when electric current is passed okay few d's few a one c as well in the direction of the current that is the absolutely wrong okay
now one person who has stated a please write your response one who has stated d please write your response i'll name madhumita write your response or reason for d kshitej write your response for a Gurman, now why, why, what blinked in your mind so that so you stated ki bhai, okay, D has to be the answer. Prisha, I mentioned it in class. Electrons move from negative to positive. Uh, now understand this in the beginning of the chapter in the beginning of the chapter right we had a discussion clear that voltage movement of charge from higher potential to lower potential okay sure clear sure so what is the intuition of what is the charge over there positive charge or negative charge Again, I'm repeating, I stated our sentence, potential difference, right? And movement of charge when we were discussing about current. So, charges have a tendency to flow from higher potential to lower potential. Good. What type of charge I was discussing about? Positive charge or negative charge? negative <laughs> no understand this come back to the grounds this is your battery this is the negative potential end and this is the positive end. electrons are moving right or not so sure. clear and the only correct answer for this is B. Why? I'll tell you the reason. Remember this. When, see, this can also be the answer. But here, a word conventional is missing. Conventional current is opposite to the direction of flow of electrons actually electrons flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal okay sure clear so this is the answer now talking about the next question no further discussion clear No further discussion means no uh, miscellaneous discussion, not further. Clear? This question. An electric bulb is connected to 220 volt generator. Fastest fingers first. B, 110 watt. Okay. Power has its unit as watt. I missed it while I was explaining you this thing. Power has its unit as watt. Okay. Wattage. Clear? So, B, 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 B. What is 10 watt is not at all an option. Yes. <laughs> Chalo. Quick calculation.
power is equals to v into i so power is equals to 220 multiplied by current which is 0.5 which is also half 110 watt clear sure no one will get clear sure i guess uh, try uh, 0 0.5 by 220 you might okay clear chal back to this pace what is the commercial unit of electrical energy sir yes dear sir just a minute sir before the uh, uh, question itself okay. danai and uh, shruti before had asked whether electric field was a vector or not electric field intensity is a vector but it is not associated with electricity understand at the beginning also i stated in the 10th grade syllabus there is no mention of electrostatics electric field is a static feature of electricity there okay but to clarify your doubt yes exactly electric field intensity is a vector okay So answer what is the commercial unit of electrical energy? I guess many of you have given it. Yes, kilowatt hour. Sure, in NTSC and here also I expect uh, one joule is equal to how many kilowatt hours? Fast calculation. One joule is, is equal to how many kilowatt hours? Gurman, I remember that you remember it. That's why I asked this question. Good. For those who don't know how this got converted, so please remember. See, kilowatt R to joule. Okay. So, see. Kilo is 10 to the power 3. Okay. What is joule multiplied by? Okay joule per second one joule per second is what is the definition of what w a double t and r is three six double zero seconds second joule is also here okay this is 3.6 into 10 to the power 3 and 10 to the power 3 is 10 to the power 6 okay. Sure. Fine. Sure. Sir, you asked one joule is how many one kilowatt hour? Did I ask that? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Actually, one my... kilowatt hour is how many joules? Sorry, 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 sorry. Big mistake. One kilowatt hour is how many joules? Great. Thank you, Shridesh. Next, electrical resistivity of any given metallic wire depends upon straight question. Obviously, the three things are dimensional. Clear? Great. Next. Don't worry, I'll be following up the fastest finger first, post the lecture, okay? As of now, time doesn't allow us to do all that, clear? Fill in the blanks type. The SI unit of current is Ampere with capital A is the correct answer. According to Broom law, the potential difference across the end of a resistor is directly proportional to the through it provided it remains constant okay so this this block will have ohm's law okay the potential difference the current through it clear or not 
So if required, I have write as Ohm's law, and here correct. Clear? Sure. Next, the resistance of a conductor depends directly on its length, inversely on its area, and also on the resistivity of the conductor. Okay, good. The S see guys, don't get panic if someone deducts your mark on wrong arrangement of the sequence directly on resistivity inversely on its area and also on the length of the conductor is a wrong answer directly on its length inversely on its area and also on the resistivity of the conductor okay so the si unit of resistivity is please note it down si unit of resistivity is ohm meter ohm meter okay so at last if the potential difference across the ends of a conductor is doubled okay the current flowing through it gets doubled for obvious reasons v and i are directly proportional to each other based on ohm's law clear not half someone stated half clear Chow. fine great now Theoretical and numerical types of question. What is meant by electric current? The passage of charge per unit time, the flow of charge per unit time through a conductor is called electric current. Clear? What is this SI unit? This SI unit is ampere. Definition. When one coulomb of charge passes through a conductor in one second time, then we call one ampere of current passing by. Anyone looking for a written answer for anything I am stating, feel free to state. I'll write it down. No problem. I repeat. Some other kind of conversation is going on here. Acha, some people are answering. The things great, 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 great. Sure, clear. So, um, I repeat, uh, I, we have defined what is electric current done. The name of the unit is ampere, and the definition is one, one coulomb of charge passes through a conductor in one second. We call it one ampere of current. Clear in a conductor, electrons are flowing from B to A. Okay. What is the direction of conventional current A to B? Right or not? Adyar Anand Bhavan. Bad. Worst joke of my life. Give justification for your answer so the same thing current is the passage of charge okay so conventional current is considered to be flowing from higher potential to lower potential which is the opposite direction of that of that clear Achha, should i write i'm writing that okay so if you are looking for justification, right? So see, higher to lower potential, you can complete these words, okay? So, which is exactly opposite to the flow of charge uh, electrons clear this word itself this is very very important here conventional current clear so fine the last part of this question so this is a big five marker okay clear so this is a big five marker I did not want it to spend my time. Yes. 
Now the last part a steady current of 1 ampere flows through a conductor. Congratulations. Calculate the number of electrons. Beautiful so 6.25 something you guys were answering. Great. Calculate the number of electrons that flow through any section of the conductor in one second. So yes or no? N into E is equal to I into T. So N is equals to 1 upon 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. I am not writing any unit here because it is a number. Clear? Sure? So, clear or not? 100 by 16 into 10 to the power positive 18, 19 or 20. Clear? Yeah. Sure? Guys, Chal, proceeding further. Some extra activities are going on in the chat. Uh, let's not make them distract the class, okay? What is meant by electrical resistivity of a material? So you had the definition stated by Kami on the screen, uh, like someone else stated, I reflected it on the screen. It is, resistivity is the property by virtue of which a material shows resistance. Clear? Derive its SI unit, so you will derive R, which is ohm, is equal to resistivity into meter upon meter square. So, resistivity will have its unit as ohm meter. Clear? Clear? Chal. Next part of the question. Describe an experiment to study the factor on which the resistance of a conducting wire depends. Yes. Now this is the describing part. Clear? Now you know primarily R by the formula is dependent on rho LA. So you will have to write three steps. One to test the variation by length. One to test the, va the variation by area. And one to test the variation by temperature. Clear? So sure. please don't get confused here they are talking about resistivity and here they are talking about resistance. So if they would have been talking only about resistivity then you will be only measuring the effect of temperature. You will not be measuring the influence of L and A. Right? So sure. when they are talking about resistance yes we will have to mention the impacts of both the length that is the dimensions and the temperature length and area and temperature now how will you <clears throat> single liner answers how will you examine the length the variation by length single liners what activity will you suggest single liners good longer wire and shorter wire Area. Cutting the wire is also a good thing, dear uh, Charan. Good answer. Area. Stretching or compression the wire or using two different specimens of same wire. Okay. One thick one and one thinner one. Good. And temperature by heat. Clear or not? Sure. Also, <coughs> sorry, also when you are mentioning the temperature, please mention significant variation in temperature please mention significant variation in temperature okay Chalo. great write two points of difference between electrical energy and electric power 
two points very quick i would be interested to get the mathematical formula question is <clears throat> good good man good 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 so the first line will have two points of difference their mathematical power i square r t and i square r this is power and this is energy unit unit of energy is kilo watt r whereas unit of power is just watt clear so out of 60 watt and 40 watt lamp which one has higher electrical resistance so resistance of a designed device is measured by v square by p so resistance is inversely proportional to the power so the one having lower power will have a higher resistance what is the commercial unit of electrical energy given over here converted into joule already practiced clear so see year by year they are asking you you don't know question what i'll be doing is i'll be sharing with you guys answer booklets okay so shar bhai generally uh, like he makes it uh, an integral part of uh, his uh, presentation only uh, right or not clear as i had too many things to do clear so i have kept it like this sure easy fine what will i be doing is i'll be sharing you the standard 5 years answer booklets okay fine great next question define one volt see this is the mathematical thing they are asking define one volt express it in terms of si unit of work and charge calculate the amount of energy consumed in carrying a charge of 1 coulomb through a battery of 3 volts this is absolutely important so sure. so gurman very precisely has stated that voltage is clear sure very well defined by shreyas okay express it in its uh, like terms of si unit of work and charge so voltage is joule per coulomb okay sure now calculate the amount of energy consumed in carrying a charge of 1 coulomb through a voltage of 3 volts 3 joules yes or no clear by the same line q into v is the work yes kshitesh absolutely correct it's a definition of electricity electrostatic definition of voltage proceeding further two wires a and b are of equal length okay and have equal resistance clear very clear they are of equal length and equal resistance if resistivity of a is more than b oh ho resistivity of a is more than resistivity of b which wire is thicker so r is the same l is the same a1 and a2 row 1 and row 2 see this part has to be equal to this part right or not 
rho one upon e one has to be equal to rho two upon e two. I have already given that rho one is greater than rho two. Then it implies that a one is greater than a two. Am I correct? Clear? This is the way you have to like not this random way. I'll write it step by step as well. Given R one is equals to R two. You can write rho one L one upon A one is equals to rho two upon A two. L one and L one got cancelled. So rho one upon A one rho two upon A two. This implies that. A one upon A two is equal to rho one upon rho two. Why is that? A one is than A two. Clear? So mathematical responses will be validated more in boards. Please remember this. Writing ten lines and three four lines. See, you will have to explain. Then write this statements. Okay. The same what you understood when I was speaking is the same thing what examiners understand by words. They don't have time to read it. Clear? And CBSC has given very straight um, guidances and instructions that 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 give. More preference and award to a figurative and mathematical representation than a theoretical representation. Please remember that. Okay. So, so, moving on to the next question. I guess this is done. Yes. Right relation between heat energy produced in a conductor when a potential difference V is applied across its terminal and a current I flows through it for time t. Very straight heat energy in that case will be given as V I T. Yes, very good. So sure. clear? You can yes. Actually, I am not very correct as you guys are. You should heat use it as heat is equals to V. it instead of using energy very straight answer right or not clear correct next question oh ho something diagram and all uh the figure below shows three cylindrical copper conductors okay along with their face okay area and length okay sure 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 Face area and length. Discuss in which geometrical shape the resistance will be highest. So you will be writing it as you will be writing it as R one is equal to all our copper. So resistivity will remain same. Length is L upon area. R two is resistivity same. Length is two L upon area is A by two, so making it as two into two, so four rho L by A. Okay, this L is a small one. This is capital. Okay, so matching the same notations. Okay, third one R. This is R two. R three is equal to rho same L as L by two into two a, so it will be one by four rho L by a. So R three is the least, then R one, and then comes R two. Whatever they may ask, right in ascending, descending, greatest, lowest, this is the answer. Clear or not? Sure. Yeah, easy. This representation is the best help instead of writing 
too many sentences and all mathematical representations will be preferred okay shares thank you now oh some circuit final i am like eagerly waiting from for circuits from long where are the circuit and I, and then comes this simple question i hate this find the current flowing through the for this is an exam question actually so um, while hand picking these questions the preference was given to different types of questions okay from all topics there should be questions so find the current flowing through the following electric circuit when i was mentioning uh, these things i also uh, witnessed few questions where instead of uh, mentioning this they they have asked about ammeters and voltmeters clear ammeter is the device used to measure electric current measure whereas voltmeter is a device which is used to measure electric voltage voltmeters are always connected in parallel with the resistance across which the voltage has to be measured whereas ammeters are always connected in series across the circuit or the resistance through which current has to be measured the resistance of ammeters is kept as low as possible the resistance of voltage is kept as high as possible okay so sure. back to the scene find the current flowing through the following circuit so for any circuit diagram the first thing whether asked or not you have to find is always r equivalent r equivalent over here is 3.6 in series ohm is in series with a combination okay and then again with series with 3 ohm this combination is of parallel system Yes or no? So this is your total answer. Clear? Fast. What is this? Twelve here. Two plus three, five. To the power of minus one, plus three. 3.6 plus what is this 2.4 plus 3 so the answer is 9 ohm clear sure now second step goes to calculation of current current is equals to v by r r equivalent v is 4.5 upon r equivalent is 9 So 0.5 ampere current is the answer. Okay, what is this 2.4 shares? Acha 2.4 might be this here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it, got it. No problem. Clear. Easy. Now I am just um, like increasing the level of the question. If it is a five marker, they can also ask. what is the voltage utilized by fastest fingers first what is the voltage utilized by and a chocolate question as well what is the voltage utilized by 3 ohm resistor this is the 3 ohm resistor i am talking about chalo in order to reduce your confusion what is the voltage utilized by 1 ohm resistor not the 3 ohm resistor there is only one 1 ohm resistor what is the voltage 1.5 charan akash 1.5 okay why they 1.5 volt okay why 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 Ah, so Shridhar, answer for the one ohm. I, my question now is for the one ohm resistor. Zero point five volt. I'll repeat the instruction. Please mention it by units with units. Zero point five volts.
Okay. For those who have done, let's verify the question. For those who have not done, clear? Um, I'm explaining how this is done. Clear? For that, what I'm doing is I'm just creating a rough box for me over here. Here is my rough box. See, understand. The current being drawn from the battery is 0.5 ampere or half. Okay. There are many ways of answering. Clear? Sure. Out of which the simplest way to carry this out is okay. If this is the case, then the voltage utilized. Okay, by series resistors is 6.6 .6 into half, that is 3.3 volts. I into R. Half, huh? I into R. So the voltage remaining for the parallel box is 4.5 minus 3.3 .3, which is 1.2 clear 1 ohm sir this test here uh, can I just explain how you did it because I did it randomly I still got the right answer I don't know how great I'm explaining how uh, how I did it what how I did what 3.3 uh, this question uh, this question what you're doing right now can you uh, just I'm explain proceeding. once again yeah I'm proceeding I'm proceeding okay so what I have I done is one way I'm following up the voltage which is already utilized by others is 6.6 .6 R into I half so 3.3 volts is already utilized so remaining is 1.2 which will be utilized by the parallel dabba. Parallel dabba comprises of two things. This is 6 and this is 1 and 3. So the current in the 6 wala. Yes or no? Clear? Sure? I is equals to V by R 1.2 by 6. 0.2 okay so the current here current upper branch will be equal to 0.3 why because the total current coming at this junction is 0 0.5 0 0.2 goes here so what will be coming down is 0 0.3 clear so the voltage of 1 ohm will be equal to i into r which is 0 0.3 ohm. Anyone who got 0 0.3 ohm? No one, I guess. Because I could read 0 0.5 and all. Kshachit, 0 0.3 ohm. Wrong, 0 0.3 volt. Thank you for reminding me. No one, I guess, yes. Okay. Is it clear? A quick Y or N? Fine. Quick answer. 
वॉट इज द पावर कंज्यूम्ड बाय सिक्स ओम रजिस्टर वॉट इज द पावर कंज्यूम्ड बाय सिक्स ओम रजिस्टर क्विक वॉट इज द पावर कंज्यूम्ड बाय सिक्स ओम रजिस्टर वैभव डियर द एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन विच इज ऑन द बोर्ड दिस मच ओनली is for 3 or 4 marks 3 marks okay but what i am trying to create now is suppose they want to state a 5 marker then they will be surely asking all these things okay what is the power consumed by 6 ohm resistor 2.4 watt others so c power is given by multiple formats v into i v square by r or i square by r which format you want to follow sir it's i square r not i square by r where where what are you talking about dear charan uh, uh, yeah that's what you No, I couldn't get you what corrected you corrected it now. Yeah. What? No, no, no. I... It's fine. You just no. I t- before you wrote i square no. by r. Now I just no, told you no, to no, write no, it by no, i square no, r. No false claims. No. No, no, no. I square r is what I have written. Everyone knows that I had written only i square by r. Sir, I. Scan. Who? Charan Akash or Ankur? Chal, chal, chal. Back to the same. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. So, uh, yes, power. About the power. Power consumed by, for example, six ohm. So, power is V into I. I have I in the six ohm as zero point two, right or not? And V as one point two, multiplication zero point two four type power, or I square by R, I square into R, sorry, and all that. Clear? So, sure. so things can go to more penetrating levels. Okay. just explaining it next card calculate the resistance of a 1 km long copper wire of radius 1 mm this is pure calculation do it i am not doing it pure calculation sir yes dear Uh, in the previous question, some of us are getting three point three seven five as the value of of the um, the power? power, I guess. Yeah, the power. The so uh, by our calculation, what we had is the current coming out of the battery is half ampere, right or not? So sure. the voltage supplied to the circuit is four point five. So what we had seen that the voltage across six ohm will be one point two. volts yes or no so sure. now the current across 6 ohm will be 1.2 upon 6 so 0.2 ampere so the power will be voltage into current 0.24 watt now please uh, tell me how was it going to be 3.375 let's calculate by other method i square into r okay so i think i took the voltage to be 4.5 volts that's oh, okay 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 have i made it clear now for everyone a quick yes or no for this yeah yeah Yeah, I'll be scrolling down, dear. Don't worry. 
a quick yes or no please yeah, yeah very good now the next question here it is one kilometer wala thingy calculate the resistance r has to be calculated resistivity is been provided 1.72 into 10 to the power minus 8 length is 1 kilometer so i am writing it as 1000 meter upon uh, 1 millimeter is the radius so see area has to be calculated area of the cross section will be pi r square oh damn you have to use 22 by 7 into r which is 10 to the power minus 3 ka square which becomes 10 to the power minus 6 yes or no beautiful calculation keep on keep going What? No, Shitaj. No, do it. I, I literally insist on you to do it. For everyone, solve it. Calculate. This is the like, beauty of the exam. I don't have the answer key of this so I'll have to trust on the majority so if majority will be answering one ohm is the answer then I'll okay say okay yes one ohm is the answer Someone is going to the power of 10 to the power minus 2. Few answers are 10 to the power minus 3. Few have just straight 9.8 ohm. Why such a big variation, dear? Shitesh, you did it with calculator. Okay. So what, what have you like received as the answer? Okay, the answer is so big that he don't want to type. <laughs> Chalo, fine. Uh, let's invest our some time over here. 1.72 upon 3.14. Okay. Into 10 to the power. This is minus 5. Goes up. 10 to the power 6 and minus 5 is just 10. Clear? Sure. So it looks like 172 upon... 314 into 10 which is now pretty decent because I can uh, in the my rough space divide like this okay four threes are 12 five threes are 15 five approx I'll go five fours are 20 five uh, one seven Yes or no? 15 kind of. So 0, 5, 1. Decimal 0. So 5 threes are 15. So tentatively 5.4. So I'll write the answer as 5.4 ohm. 5.47 good Anand. Clear? Don't leave it. Uh, these kind of questions, practicing them will just increase your patience level and that will be helping you out in the exam. You can write, but dear, see, uh, better be, uh, I, like you should go. I, even I cancelled it like at the second digit. Actually, they like as per CBSC regulation, what I remember from the uh, expertise I have listened to, uh, they say ki, eh, until unless stated otherwise, 
minimum minimum expansion which is expected out of a decimal is two places so 5.47 is more appropriate than writing just 5.5 two places of decimals are good okay chal proceeding on with the question draw a schematic or oh, now finally coming to the case draw a schematic diagram of a circuit consisting of a battery of four cells of 2 watt volt each so cell 1 cell 2 cell 3 and cell 4 8 volt you can write okay connected to a key okay an ammeter okay there is a key there is an ammeter and two resistors of 2 and 3 ohm in series and a voltmeter to measure potential difference across three so suppose this is 2 and this is 3 so it is here where the voltmeter will be connected and closing the circuit so sure. clear so sure. चलो प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर एन इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब इज रेटेड 60 वॉट एट टू फोर्टी वोल्ट कैलकुलेट इट्स रेजिस्टेंस ओके वेरी गुड रेजिस्टेंस विल बी इज इक्वल टू वी स्क्वायर करेक्ट रॉन्ग विल बी इक्वल टू वी स्क्वायर by p okay please proceed with the calculation okay don't miss the unit units yaar units please units shraddha next calculate its resistance if the voltage drop to 192 volt okay calculate the power consumed and the current drawn by the bulb very good power consumed is v applied square by r you getting my point sure so put the value of r over here put the value of v as 192 over here you will get your answer current drawn p v into i okay so sure. assume see this is this is static resistance is same so you have to put the resistance as what is designed this is called the designed resistance resistance of the system okay clear so guys next question i guess there should not be any yes exactly 25 questions uh, 25 slides were there uh, 24 questions were there uh, okay so odd 15 20 questions were there and is it fine i hope you are thorough with the chapter electricity if any doubt i am giving you a window please uh, ask them here um a quick yes if there is any uh, if there is no doubt remain please state a why i could read one no sir was the reference of that no sir was yes no doubt so okay thank you now see uh, the worst thing uh, uh, after this lecture is you are going to have an assignment uh, that assignment will be shared to you i guess by tomorrow morning or today night only okay uh, please follow that that will be having few good previous year questions few not too many but few good previous year questions which will be helping you out to thoroughly understand and clarify your queries regarding this Topic and make you prepare for a sentiment. This 
okay so anything else can we close this up great bye sir shreyas has one doubt sir share 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 please proceed is asking how the resistance changes with temperature okay dear if i have to explain you the concept part of it shitej would you like to explain that chalo not denial so understand shreyas why 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 is the primary thing that to understand why the resistance uh, or resistivity changes okay with the increasing temperature suppose this is your assembly ground you guys are standing in uh, proper arrangement so someone has to pass through you can easily pass and that, right or not but suppose suppose this ground got heated up high so you guys will be doing random motions jumping here and there and in that case in order to pass through you guys will be difficult hence increasing the obstructions so when the temperature of a material is increased the interatomic configuration gets randomly arranged and vibrations start in it right or not particles start vibration vibrating in random order and hence when another charge passes through it it experiences more by sir collisions by dear it experiences more collision as compared to its ground neutral state and hence resistance or better in terms of resistivity of a material increases with increase in temperature is it clear if current is increased by 100% it means the value of current is doubled okay so for the same resistor the power utilized will become four times now you have to add up a clause keeping the voltage same uh, and few more things changing the resistance and all that okay sure take care bye sir any any i need increase percentage bye sir yes 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 bye bye dear any doubt please feel free to ask bye sir thank you bye bye dear bye dear bye 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 dear so yes dear can you explain why magnetism and electricity are so closely related no oh just kidding so <laughs> actually what happens is uh, see uh, they are both uh, very directly influenced by charge electrons okay yes sir and that is the primary reason that they are very like mutually existing they exist simultaneously it doesn't happen ever that only electricity is in a circuit every circuit having current is parallelly assisted by magnetic influences okay so simply because they both depend on electrons for the properties yeah because the primary thing influencing or creating them is the electrons okay okay thank you sir okay dear bye 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 bye